It's time for the European Review Show, a wee bit late, just before we'll get the SPFL preview show, but let's just keep it simple. I predict it free, 3-1 free victories to the home team. That's 3-1 Atletico, 3-1 Pack, and 3-1 Rangers. How many did I get exactly? That's nil, but how many results did I get right? That's one out of three, but let's talk about them. In the order they happened, starting on Tuesday with Celtic, Aberdeen a wee bit earlier on Thursday, then the late kickoff at Ibrox. But let's talk about the game. Of course, Dyson Maida, that is the main talking point for the Celtic game. They did get scud at 6 0, but it stemmed for this. And now he's going to be out for six weeks uh, after the injury that he suffered for the red card challenge. And yeah, was it a red? I mean, we thought no, but in this day and age, it probably is. But uh, see, this, see, see at the end of the day, right? It's not just, you know, us on Fog Football, it's, you know, most people in football, uh, fans watching it, everyone says it on Twitter, comment sections, blah, blah, blah. This whole gimmick of, uh these days, but well, we are in these days, and the days of, like, you know, games being allowed, you know, two foots and etc. for people getting sent off, they're long gone. I think we need to accept that and just move on. So, this was a red. Uh, Brendan Rodgers wasn't happy. He wants, he wants VAR banned. And uh, is it a bit of a meltdown for Rodgers? Kinda, not really, who knows. But they get beat 6-0, some great goals, some poor defending, some poor goalkeeping, poor officiating, uh, everything wrapped into one wee bow, but all you can tell you is Celtic weren't good enough. I know you went down to 10 men early on, but at the end of the day, you, you should be able to do better. Like You just drew with this team two weeks ago. Like, show a bit of that fight, Celtic, but they didn't. And uh, the coefficient is suffering cause of it, so Celtic... Probably going to finish with not many points in this group. Now, here, they're against Lazio and they're against Feyenoord. Feyenoord's at home. Maybe they'll do something there. I wouldn't bet my top rocker on it, to be honest. There is there is still the, the, the slightest of possibilities that they could have European football post-Christmas. But uh, it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage of the game. But anyway, I digress. Let's go into it. I mean, if, they, if Celtic fans, if you went into the last game with even a slight possibility of European football, it, it would make it feel a wee bit better, wouldn't it? But yeah, 6-0. Moving into the second game, though, of course, it was Pack against Aberdeen. I thought Aberdeen would give a good showing of themselves, but I thought they would still come up a wee bit short. But no, they came away with a point. And I've seen some people bashing Aberdeen and commentators for saying this is a big result for Aberdeen. Seeing the grand scheme of things, it means hee-haw. It really does. Like, they're not going to go through. They're automatic. They're the first team out. They can't finish in the top two. And obviously, with Conference League, there is no third place, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, I think Aberdeen... Obviously, Rangers, right, have got two wins against Sparta Prague and Betis and a draw away in Sparta Prague, which is obviously superior to anything Aberdeen has done. But... You know, Aberdeen have been good in every single game. Been unlucky. Rangers against Aris Lamassol, worst performance of the season. Um, but I think Aberdeen, yeah, I know you could say it's it's ten pot, it's small club, but I think they can actually hold their heads up high after this European campaign if they can deliver similar in the next two games that they have in the first four. I think they've been really good. Um, tonight, I think a draw was the fairest. So I think in the other three games, they were probably shafted out a win or a draw. But this probably was the fair result. It finished two each. Some great goals for Aberdeen. Um, Pack, their goals were a wee bit scrappy, weren't they? Nothing really major. But uh, that leaves us with the final game. And it was Rangers 2, Sparta Prague 1. Which, of course, Rangers did win. It should have been more than 2 1. I mean, Rangers very easily could have won this like 5 1 or something, but they didn't really take their chances. They know hit the post. Tava missed a free kick. Uh, there was a few other chances missed as well, first and second half. But you know what? It's all about the result at the end of the day, and Rangers did manage to pick up the victory. And all it means is next month, I believe, the 30th of November, um, Rangers, Aris Lamassol, all they've got to do is win, and they are through. Because uh, Sparta Prague cannot beat them anymore on head to head. So, I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed. Yes, Connor Goldson will miss that game. And uh, they're already quite, we're already quite light at the back. But they're through, man. Uh, how, right. Worst performance of the season. And we almost still got a draw against Aris Lamassol. At Ibrox, we've already beat Real Betis and Sparta Prague. If Rangers do not beat Aris Lamassol, man, damn. It's going to happen, man. Rangers are beginning to tick. Even under Bale, you'd be confident that Rangers would pump Aris Lamas also. Under Clement, with a fit and firing Danilo up top, Todd Campwell back in the fold. 
phenomenal. Can't really ask for much more. But anyway, guys, that is your European show reviewed. We got one result right at the three. Uh, SPFL preview show will be up soon. And of course, we've got Dundee United against the Vermelon tonight in the Scottish Championship. Might review that game, might not. But uh, make sure you check out all the previous videos today. A lot more meltdowns. It's great. Till next time, though. Peace.